Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar this morning. Today, we are back with our webinar series, and we are excited to introduce you to some new products. My name is Misha Lalu, and I am the marketing specialist for Dyna Energetics, and I will be the host for today's webinar. Our panelist today is someone you all might recognize. He was featured on um, an episode we did last year with our DS Echo system, Tilo Sharp. Tilo is our product line director here at Dyna Energetics. He has been with the company since 2011, and his main areas of interest are perforating technologies, explosive safety, and well completion methods and techniques. So Tilo, welcome back, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Misha, for the uh, kind words and introduction. Uh, it's good to be back. It's been a while. And thank you for everybody um, joining us today um, here and for taking the time. It is very, very much appreciated. So today, we're very excited to announce the uh, official launch of the newest products to the Dyna Stage family, which are DS Gravity, an oriented in-plane perforating system, and DS Lone Star, a single shot block and perf system that can be oriented down hole or run conventionally. Throughout the call, if you have any questions, any comments, um, please be sure and type them in the Q&A function. This is located across the bottom of your screen. Uh, we will be monitoring all the questions and we will save some time at the end to address any comments you might have. But uh, before we get started, I just wanna give a quick shout out to the name DS Lone Star, of course, being from Texas, we love that name. And uh, Tilo, if I'm not mistaken, I think you were involved in selecting that name. Absolutely, Misha. Yes, we love the, line, the name too, DS Lone Star, uh, engineered in Germany and proudly made in the great state of Texas. What more can you ask for, right? Definitely. Uh, so as you mentioned, DS Gravity and DS Lone Star are the two latest additions to the Dyna Energetics DS family of perforating systems. So um, as you were part of the development and the design of both these systems, can you just talk us through or explain why these products were added to our portfolio? Yes, absolutely, Misha. So both the uh, DS Gravity as well as the DS Lone Star were added to our portfolio at the, uh, the end of last year of 2020. And our objective has been to, to really diversify our perforating solutions for various applications and to address the, the different perforating needs and challenges of, of our customers. Um, as a little reminder, before we get started here uh, today, our full DS family lineup now includes uh, our original factory assembled performance assured DS Infinity system, which is the second one from the, the right there. It comes in three principal sizes, uh, ODs. Our DS Trinity, which comes in two sizes, and it's the second one from the left. Our DS N line and DS Echo, and flanked on the right by the DS Microset disposable setting tool, and flanked on the left by our DS Liberator uh, ballistic release tool. And of course, uh, we're talking about today the latest two family uh, members, DS Gravity and DS Lone Star right in the middle. Um, in a nutshell, um, DS Gravity enables customers to precisely and effortlessly and, and reliably orient the perforations in a predetermined direction uh, at downhole. While DS Lone Star addresses the industry's desire for single shot perforating systems with larger and more uniform holes, um, DS Lone Star itself is unmatched in, in reservoir contact, entry hole uniformity and length optimization, but I'll explain a little bit more later in the, in the webinar. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting to see our Dynastage product family grow into a um, product of families. I believe when I started with Dyna Energetics, we just had DS Infinity, DS Trinity and DS Endline. So it's really great to see that offering expand as the needs of our customers expand as well. Uh, so before we get into the weeds and into the details of each system, can you just give us a, some examples and some insight of applications and industry drivers that guided our thinking and the development? Absolutely, Misha. So in speaking with, uh, with our customers over the years, we have seen a, a very clear and defined need for, for oriented block and perf solutions. Uh, and the reasons for wanting to perforate oriented or in a particular direction uh, can be can be various, and I might want to go into a few of, of those reasons here shortly. Not all of them, but maybe the main reasons. Uh, the one that we come across the most is uh, aligning perforations downhole uh, with a min, uh, the maximum principal stress direction, which is also known as the preferred fracture plane or, or PFP for short. 
in a, in a horizontal unconventional well, that tends to be most of the cases up and down. Um, and this is really to minimize the, the near well bore pressure drop, uh, perforating friction, uh, and tortuosity pinch points and multiple completing fractures, um, perforating tunnels. And again, the aim is to improve hydraulic fracture free treatment efficiency and to use uh, the horsepower that's on hand to its full capability. Another very common reason would be uh, customers shoot oriented perforators is to achieve ultimate entry hole diameter uniformity. And uh, the idea being that if you shoot into the same facing with the same standoff, you're gonna uh, get the same um, hole size, uh, which is very um, predictable. Uh, and again, the aim here is to achieve a equal pressure liquid and sand distribution across all perforations and for the duration of the, the stimulation. Um, other reasons could include um, to uh, gain optimum reservoir coverage uh, or drainage, depending on where the well is situated in the reservoir. You can imagine if you have the well bore on the low end of the reservoir, you would want to shoot to the high side just to make as much contact with that reservoir as, as possible. Um, another very important reason and one that's, that's growing a lot uh, in frequency is the need to perforate or shoot away from downhole jewelry, which could be uh, fiber optics or hydraulic control lines, uh, very expensive features that are part of the completion. And the last thing you want to do is shoot into them and those destroy those, uh, those features. Um, one more to mention uh, would be to shoot the, uh, the highest cement thickness, which tends to be on the high side, again, in the horizontal well, because of the casings bias to lie on the low side. And shooting the high side of the, the, the casing and the highest cement thickness really uh, allows for the best possible isolation between stages and clusters and perforation tunnels when you start fracture stimulating. So I kind of want to break this up into almost two parts and talk about each system individually. So if we could go ahead and start with DS Gravity, uh, can you just talk more about this system's designs and some of the benefits that are provided? Absolutely. So DS Gravity presents a, a huge improvement in traditional oriented perforating, which is typically done by a very time consuming process of aligning guns uh, on surface and locking them into place with, with special stops. And then when you run down hole using a motorized device for active orientation to, to orient those guns in a particular direction, or by the use of uh, eccentric weight bars of uh, stops with fins uh, for a passive orientation down hole, which also requires uh, manual manipulation from surface, and it's usually done by specially trained uh, personnel. So by eliminating all of these um, processes, DS Gravity makes highly accurate oriented perfect, absolutely effortless, uh, ultra reliable, and, and of course safe. The system or the, the gun module itself incorporates an internal mechanism that allows the shape charges to rotate freely uh, and smoothly around the center axis. Uh, then gravitational force orients the charges in the desired direction once the system has reached a predetermined uh, perforating depth in the, in the well bore. DS Gravity is, is extremely easy to use and it does not require any specially trained or skilled uh, and personnel to perform any setup or calibration or alignment or downhill manipulation. The orientation accuracy that we can achieve with the, the DS Gravity system is within plus minus five degrees every time, regardless of, of any external factors such as well debris or wireline torque or well profile or well bore friction, which is, uh, is a big, big deal for us. We've always had some amazing um, renderings and images of our tools, but I have to say, I think these new ones that you just showed are definitely my favorite. Um, they just look really cool. <laughs> So now that we know more about the overall functionality, can you talk a us through some of the different configurations or options that we have available for the system? Yes. So we, we have three principal uh, configurations for the DS Gravity system. First, it can be configured with a single charge oriented to zero or the, the high side of the, the well bore or straight up, which you can see there on the, the left in the rendering or you could have a single charge pointing straight down 180 degrees, um, or you could have two charges per gun pointing both up and down zero and 180 degrees. Um, this will soon be followed by a two charge system 
which will be configured at uh, 90 and 270, basically shooting out, out, out sideways. The, uh, the unibody, what we call the unibody design of, of DS gravity eliminates the need for any external uh, subs. And at seven inches in length, we believe it's the, uh, the shortest oriented perforating system in the, in the industry by far. So gravity itself is customizable with a whole range of um, Dyna Energetics uniform entry performance hole charges. Um, which deliver hole diameters, casing hole diameters in the range of uh, 0 0.25 inch to 0 0.35 inch in 0 0.05 inch increments. Um, entry hole uh, diameter variation can vary slightly between the three setups, but uh, less than 4% deviation can be achieved, absolutely. Thank you for walking us through all those configurations. Um, it is quite a bit information, of information that you covered. And when you were explaining it to me a little while ago, you summarized it in a really nice, um, easy way. So can you just share that with everyone on the call today? Yes, absolutely. And I do realize there's a lot of information. But uh, in summary, quickly, uh, three configurations for DS gravity, shooting up, down, or up and down with uh, three different shape charges, a DP25, a DP30, and a DP35. Before we move on to the next question, I just want to remind everyone that if you do have any questions for Tilo uh, about each system, any comments, please be sure and submit those to the Q&A function. And again, that is located at the bottom of your screen. Uh, so we've covered quite a bit of information about DS Gravity. So now I'd like to talk a little bit more about DS Lone Star. So as you did with Gravity, Tilo, can you just explain why we developed DS Lone Star and then talk us through the design and the benefits of that system. Yes, absolutely, Misha. So modern well designs increasingly call for uh, fewer shots per cluster and tighter cluster spacing, so guns closer together, and ever further reaching laterals into the horizontal. Uh, so this is where we feel the as Lone Star uh, perforating system fits, fits into the market. With larger and more uniform uh, hole diameters, uh, the single charge systems are very compact to enable more guns per stage and longer reaching uh, laterals. In addition, users increasingly want to orient uh, their perforating systems in an effort to address some of the challenges uh, that I previously mentioned. The, uh, the specialized Lone Star perforating system addresses each of these uh, objectives individually. The system is designed specifically for a, a single shot application and is available in oriented and in standard models. It's designed to provide a large and more consistent casing entry hole and it delivers significantly higher reservoir contact compared to any conventional plug and perf system that, that's out there currently. And uh, can you now walk us through the different configurations or options that are available for a DS Lone Star? Yes. So before we get into the options uh, on the configuration, DS Lone Star itself offers a, a, a very new generation of unconventional reservoir tune and shape charges with significantly more explosive energy delivered right down at the, uh, at the formation. And the result, as previously said, is a vastly increased formation contact with the largest possible entry hole diameter in the casing with the smallest possible variation. So the, the five different entry hole diameters that are available uh, for DS Lone Star uh, range from 0 0.4 inch all the way up to uh, 0 0.6 inch. Uh, and again in 0 0.05 inch increments. The uniformity that can be achieved with our LS charges is around 3% from, from charge to charge, which is uh, extremely, extremely precise. All of this again comes in our uh, patented unibody package, and this eliminates the need for, for connecting stops in between the, the, the guns. And again, at nine inches long, we believe DS Lone Star is the shortest single shot perforating system in the, in the industry. Uh, how short? The system is up to, again, depending on the configuration, 50% shorter and 10% lighter than a, a like for like DS Infinity uh, gun. Of course, being shorter and lighter has the, the added benefit of permitting more guns per stage and easier orientation of the, the perforating string, which is exactly what customers are looking for. As you mentioned, there's lots of features and benefits of the DS Lone Star system. So what would you say are some of those features that really set the system apart from anything else? 
So to me, Mishan Zama, there's absolutely no uh, no comparison. DS Lone Star is absolutely unmatched in, in reservoir contact, uh, length optimization, and entry hole diameter uniformity, and overall downhole performance. So one of the key benefits of all of our products are their safety and the, their reliability. Um, definitely safety is almost one of our top and main priorities. So what can you say about safety in regards to DS Gravity and DS Lone Star? Like all the, the members of the Dyna Energetics factory assembled performance assured uh, Dyna stage product family, the two new systems uh, arrive at the well site fully assembled and ready to arm with our, our wireless TF uh, SFD uh, detonator. Um, both perforating products and the entire detonating system uh, can be tested and verified on surface as well as while uh, running at home. This is leading to unmatched reliability and, and peace of mind for, for the customer. As always, it only takes uh, less than a minute to assemble, arm, and test uh, each gun. And as we always say, it's as, as easy or easier than putting a flashlight into a battery. We've covered a lot of information regarding both systems. So thank you so much for that. You've definitely helped my understanding of both of these systems. I'm sure the audience will agree as well. Um, do you have any maybe high level or key takeaway points that you could just leave us with? Absolutely. So two summary slides here for both systems. So the first would be for the, uh, the DS Gravity, which is an, an oriented in-plane perforating system. With, with all the benefits of uh, our Dyna stage systems that the uh, customer has learned to, to appreciate. Uh, it comes at zero and 180 degree uh, phasing in three configurations, up, down, or up and down. Um, it really gives the, uh, the, the customer and the completions engineer uh, increased completion design flexibility. You get more stages and uh, tighter spacing per gun. The unibody design itself is, is designed for length optimization and failure point reduction. So 50% shorter than a comparable uh, DS Infinity system and 50% less O-rings. Um, there's absolutely no need for any external alignment or orienting uh, hardware. And the system itself is totally free from external factors that could normally hinder a successful orientation. Done. And on the DS Lone Star, Again, it's a, an in-plane perforating system. Uh, it comes in oriented or uh, non-oriented, a standard option. Uh, again, much like gravity, it gives the customer increased completion design flexibility, more stages, tighter spacing per, per gun, bigger casing entry holes, which much, much higher formation uh, contact. And the holes themselves from gun to gun, very ultra uniform at the lowest uh, possible level. Again, same as the DS Gravity, the unibody design for length optimization and failure point reduction, up to 50% shorter than uh, comparable DS Infinity string, and also 50% uh, less always. So we have had some questions come in for the audience. So I do just want to take a little bit of time uh, to address those questions. Um, so our first question we have here, um, do you have any recent field trials for either system that you can talk about? Yes, excellent question. Um, we've had three different field trials uh, recently with three different customers for, for both systems. And I'm very happy to see um, that all of the guns performed exactly as designed. There is absolutely no uh, non-productive time uh, occurred. Um, all perforation tunnels um, treated as designed or better with a uh, efficiency of up to 98%, meaning 98% of all tunnels that we generated actually taken fluid, sand and pressure and fractured uh, as designed. Definitely great to hear um, some successful field trial results. So thank you. Uh, the next question we have here, uh, why should I use DS Lone Star over any other single shot gun in the market? That's a good one too. So to me, DS Lone Star is really about the, uh, the vastly increased formation contact, the, the large hole size, the variation of charges that you can choose from, and the uniformity of those holes, which really allows you, the customer, um, to be very precise in your planning and your design of your, of your frag stages. And really, it's what you design is what you're going to get downhole as well. 
Another question we have here is, what is the OD of DS gravity? Excellent question again. Both DS gravity and DS Lone Star come in three and a half inch uh, OD when uh, they're, they're just being deployed and after a maximum swell of about 3.6, 3.65. Another question we have from the audience. Um, have you done tests on Lone Star regarding total target penetration? Uh, we have. Uh, obviously, total target penetration tends to be on, on surface in concrete and not very representative, really, of what we uh, find down hole. And what I would like to say is uh, give it a try and see how it performs in, in your reservoir. It'll be a difference as night and day, to be honest. Another question, are you planning on bringing this technology to Argentina? And currently, this uh, technology is designed or for primarily for the North American market. And there is always an option to take it international. That obviously will depend on the, the local business and licensing process. But there is no reason why we couldn't take this uh, anywhere else if uh, the market would want it or request it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for today's webinar. So thank you to Tilo. Um, thank you so much for your time today. We really enjoyed having you back. I also want to thank everyone for attending and all of the great questions. Um, if we did not have a chance to answer your question on this call, we will follow up with you by email. So if you have any other questions, you can submit them to either of the email addresses that you'll see here on your screen. I just wanted to let everyone know that our March webinar will be a live demo of our digital app that features a comprehensive suite of configuration and purchasing tools. So the registration and details for this webinar are coming soon. Our LinkedIn page is where you'll find those registration details. So be sure to give us a follow. Uh, you'll also see a QR code here to the right side of your screen. You open up the camera on your phone and you scan this code, it'll take you to a survey where you can provide us feedback on today's webinar. We would really appreciate any comments or feedback that you can provide. So Tilo, thank you again um, for joining us. Thank you for everyone for attending and we'll hopefully see you in our next one. Thank you, Misha, for having me. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.